If you could go back in time to kill baby Adolf Hitler, would you do it? That's the premise of the Twilight Zone episode Cradle of Darkness. Nip Hitler in the bud to prevent the Holocaust and World War II. It's that easy. The thought of saving millions from catastrophic evil is enticing, and Andrea Collins does kill baby Hitler. But a housekeeper witnesses the murder and buys a new baby from a gypsy to replace him, so that baby grows up to commit horrible atrocities instead. Hitler didn't invent fascism or anti-Semitism, and he had a lot of popular support from Germans frustrated with poverty and inflation and angered by the supposed loss of their cultural identity. If it wasn't Hitler, it could have easily been somebody else. Authoritarian leaders are usually a symptom of evil ideas taking root across a society, rather than the cause. In the Twilight Zone, killing baby Hitler made no difference in the end. So what would make a difference? Widespread adoption of ethics and morality are what prevent mass support for terrible ideologies. When everyone recognizes their capacity for evil and embraces a philosophy that respects humanity and autonomy, that prevents baby Hitler from being conceived at all.